you doing guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mr. O. Uh, let's do a little uh, laundry and clean up a little bit. So please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more of my updates. And today we're going to talk about the cost of living in Belize. Uh, Tammy and I, once again, we stayed in uh, uh, San Ignacio from August 2018 all the way to October 2018. Then we moved to the island, which is San Pedro, Belize. Uh, and Burgess Key Island from uh, I think it was end of October all the way till May of 2019 and uh, the first thing uh, we noticed about the cost of living there which had its benefits as well as its uh, you know its pros and cons so the first thing we noticed uh, most of the island is a uh, golf cart based transportation uh, you saw you didn't see too many cars you saw taxis seeing cars here and there trucks all-terrain vehicles, but mostly I'd say 90% of the uh, transportation was in, in golf carts. And uh, so what's the great thing about golf carts? Well, golf carts doesn't use that much gas. Uh, I think we put maybe uh, about $30 in there and it may last us, man, maybe I'd say almost three or four weeks, depending on how much we had to, uh, you know, uh, go out and travel or run uh, errands. But for the most part, it would last maybe about a month, maybe five weeks of maybe 30 bucks um, if we uh, fill it up, you know, to the top. But yeah, that that uh, that was a good luxury, man, because uh, not having a, a car, you thought you I would miss it as much. But um, man, there's no AC in the uh, in the uh, golf carts. So you're not running that much. You're not burning that much gas. And also, like I said, the luxury of uh, just having a golf cart. It's not a big maintenance on the golf carts. You know, you don't have your carburetors, your, what's your other thing, your engines, and just, uh, you know, your, your, you know, your fuel filter and all that stuff. So it came in handy and it was uh, pretty uh, affordable as far as saving uh, on maintenance, uh, mechanics, you know, repairs, and also uh, on gas. Uh, so that was a, that was a, like I said, it was a blessing in disguise because you just never know, never know over there because the gas is kind of expensive over there. Uh, they could be anywhere from, I know over there when we was over there, it's maybe up to nine or ten dollars a gallon. But like I said, when you're riding in the golf cart all day, all the time, uh, it's less expensive than riding a full, you know, a full uh, fledged vehicle. But the next thing uh, we noticed was uh, the labor over there. The labor and the service was pretty cheap as well. Anything you want done as far as, uh, I'll give you an example. We had a lady that would come over and clean our condo maybe, I'd say once a month, or maybe twice. But uh, she would clean everything. I think it was like 1,100 square foot uh, condo, and uh, she would clean everything. I mean, even from the laundry, the beds, everything, uh, the linens. Uh, she would wash everything, and she would clean all the rooms, bathrooms, and everything. And it was like $25. You know, for the whole the whole time she was there, and she might have been there between two to four hours, but it was only like twenty five dollars a day. So, thing as far as uh, labor and uh, you know any type of uh, work based uh, production, those those are services over there is pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap. And the next thing I want to talk about is property tax. Now, property tax over there can be cheap depending on where you live. If you live in then, like um, I'd say. Uh, Dangriga, maybe Corozal, uh, San Ignacio, places like that. Um, houses, as far as the um, property tax, would probably be around $25 a year, a year. Now, if you live on the island in San Pedro, you know, where a lot of the uh, Americans live north of the bridge, for example, if you had like a $250,000 home over there, then your property tax is going to be $300 a year. Still cheaper than over here. But um, like I said, um, for twenty five dollars, man, inland, man, that's that's a year. That's great, man. But you got to factor in this is a, a developing third world country, so I mean, the housing is just not as uh, modern as it is over here. So that's the reason those prices are around twenty five dollars uh, for property tax. But like I said, the more uh, modern homes over there in the island, about three hundred dollars a year, which is still good compared to living over in the States. Now, Belize is not a consumer-based society. 
they don't have shopping malls, Targets, Kohl's, uh, or TJ Maxx. They don't have all that stuff over, over uh, in Belize. So therefore, no temptation. Uh, there's no uh, money, amount of money you can just go out and spend and uh, just shop, you know, like over here we shop for a hobby. A lot of people just go shop for a hobby. I mean, I mean, how many times have you been somewhere, not myself, but I know a lot of people that went out shopping and they just came back with a bag full of clothes and the next thing you know they're talking about they're going to take them back in a week or two and they may keep one outfit out of like maybe six or seven outfits. Uh, over, over here it's a hobby to go shopping. They'll just go looking around or whatever. But most of the time when you go to looking around and you like something, usually you're going to uh, consume that product. They don't have all the material products over there that, uh, and the materialism over there like we have over here. Uh, we have so many amenities over here and we have so many uh, golden shining objects over here that uh, it's easy to go, over here, go outside and just spend money, spend money. I remember telling Tammy one time, man, it seems like every time I go outside, I'm giving somebody some money, you know. It makes you not even want to go, go anywhere sometimes because you're not making money when you're not at work. But every time you go out somewhere, it's consuming these products. And over there, it's just not like that. They don't have all these luxuries. Like I said, malls, department stores, uh, uh, Macy's, you know, things of that nature. They don't have all that over there. So it's less to consume. Uh, now, you can, now, one thing I notice is you can go to uh, Carl's Hall. A lot of people stay there. And it's near the Mexican border. And right by the Corazon, I think they have a Walmart over there uh, that you can shop at. And they have other, other uh, stores over there that you can shop at. But over on the island and inland in Belize, uh, you don't have these movie theaters, what, skating rings, um, sports bars. I mean, all of these things are not over there like that over there in Belize. So, so you get to save a lot of money, you know. You get to save a lot of money. And as you notice, people notice how much they started save, saving money over here in the United States when the pandemic happens. Uh, when everything closed up, people realized how much money they were saving. And it changed a lot of people's uh, perspective on how they go about living their lives and uh, their lifestyles. So just keep that in mind. They are not a consumer-based society. Everywhere, everywhere you go over here, you, got, you can buy something. You got like 15 McDonald's on every corner, every block, Burger King. Uh, what else you got? KFC, um, I mean, just all these fast food restaurants everywhere. So over there, you can save a lot of money just about eating the, uh, you know, eating whatever they have over there, which is mostly uh, uh, anything to go is mostly like fruit stands and vegetables, things of that nature. Uh, but they do have city and restaurants, but just not plentiful over there as it is over here. And the last thing is health care. Health care is real cheap over there. Real cheap. Um, I remember Tammy was going over uh, to the doctor to get some, uh, get an exam or something. I think it was like twenty, twenty dollars, if that, ten or fifteen dollars. Uh, uh, she got an exam or something done, and uh, it was it was pretty cheap. And um, I also remember I had went in there one time because I was having some type of complications with my stomach, and it's like maybe ten or fifteen dollars to to see a doctor. I mean, you're basically paying copay prices over there without insurance, uh, in my opinion. And I also I remember Tammy going to the pharmacy. She bought like uh, maybe three or four boxes of uh, aspirin at 800 milligrams. You can't get 800 milligrams over here, I think, uh, off the shelf. I think it had to be a uh, prescription over here at the pharmacy. But over there, we just went to the pharmacy and uh, got like three, three, four boxes, three big boxes of of 800 milligrams um, aspirin, and it was only like maybe $15, you know. I mean, it's crazy. But again, uh, living over here, healthcare is real expensive. Real expensive. I mean, just, I don't even want to talk about it. That's how expensive it is. I mean, you all know, I don't have to get into how expensive healthcare is over in the United, in the United States. But over there, uh, like I said, it was cheaper. Even the dentist office in San Ignacio, I went over there one day and, uh, asked about prices and she gave me a, a little, um, a list of uh, their uh, services and uh, even the uh, dental prices was way cheaper, way cheaper. Now Belize is kind of one of the more expensive places in Central America now. So I just want you guys to, I mean, I'm just comparing the states to Belize, but Belize compared to uh, other places over there in the Caribbean, they can be a little bit more expensive. 
But compared to the states, uh, the, these are ways that you can actually save money uh, while you're living over there in Belize. So guys, uh, again, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, I'll be coming back with another video soon. Peace.